Okay. So uh, before we move on to the uh, registration page, so uh, there is a there is a catch. Like if I if I go to the register page, and from here I just uh, add any email, right? I'll add any random email and a random password. So one two three four five six, and uh, from here if I click on register, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm taken to the email verification page, right? So this is the email verification page. So we have uh, two steps. There are two step forms. So initially it is the registration form. And then if I click on the register button, I come to the email verification form, right? And after I submit from here, I will, I will go to the login page. So to handle that, what I will do is I'll come to the index page and I'll just take an state. So const tab set tab, right? And then use a state and I will take initially register. Okay, what is the error? React is called uh, function index. Oh, I have to rename it. So I'll do sign up. It's some kind of syntax error from uh, Next.js. So we have to change the component's name. Okay. So initially the state, the tab would be register. So what we are going to do is when you come here, we are going to add a query like this one like tab and if it is register right oh sorry if it is register we're going to show the show the registration form and if it is uh b e r i f y it and if it is verify we're going to show the verify form right so why am i doing that so that you know that our state will be updated when we reload the page so uh, if the user wants to come back to the verification page again they won't be able to do that because they already registered and now if they want to if they want to come back to that page there is no way to uh, go back to that page using the route and they cannot uh, access the state or anything so the user will be puzzled like okay so i just reloaded and now i cannot go to the verification page and well, they already registered right so they won't even be able to uh, register again with the with the same email. So we should we should handle that with routing so that even if the user reloads, they do not uh, go back to the registration form if they already clicked on register. So we want to keep them in the verify page, right? So that's why I'm using the uh, router query, okay? Query params. All right, then to handle query params, we have to use the uh, router. So I'll do const is it params or use params okay let me check so let's search next.js query params okay not this one yeah next.js query params and if i come here so we are using the pages router so i would select the pages router from here and uh, rendering, routing, dynamic routes. Okay, let me go back. Pages router. Okay. So we can use the router, like use router from here. Okay, let's just do that from uh, next router. Okay, so we'll do router equals to use router, which will come from next router, not next navigation, which will be next navigation used for uh, app router, but we are using pages router. So I'll just console log the router first. So let's see what we have. So let's go back. I'll bring it down here. So we have an object. 
so how do we uh, access that so we have to do router dot query okay let's do router dot query all right let's do tab equals to verify okay all right so we are getting tab here our router query so this is the query we are getting so now we can get it by query dot tab right so we should get what tab we are currently in so doesn't matter how many time i reload i'll be able to get the uh, get the state or the uh, step from my router so user won't be redirected to the or user won't be uh, shown the register page again all right so now what i can do is i can click use effect hook to handle that and i will put the router as a dependency so here i will add a logic that if router dot query dot tab like if if it is here like if instead of uh, tab if I write uh, tabs here, right, or or something like active tabs, and I set it to verify, it won't work. So I have to verify that first. So to do that, if I have router dot query dot tab, then I will uh, set tab to whatever tab we have, and I will say router dot query dot tab, right? Okay. And if we do not have that, it, is, it will be default uh, register. So now, how we can handle that? I will create two different components for this. Okay, uh, give me a second. All right, so now what I will do is uh, in the form page, I'll create a different components. So if I go back to the uh, components here, I'll create another folder. I'll name it auth and inside auth, I'll create another folder called register. Oh, sorry, we named it uh, sign up, right? sign up and inside that i will i will do so sign up form okay my bad not like that dot jsx and i will create a regular react component and i'll just uh, take the form here okay and then I'll just remove it and render that uh, component here. Okay. Now it should look okay. Now it works the same way, but now we can add some uh, logic, right? So here, what we can do is I can say. tab equals to register the tab is equal to register then I want to render this one and if it is not then I want to render something else for now I'll just render a div so see if I if my tab is verify I'm not seeing anything and if I go back to sign up I can see my sign up form all right okay so now I think I have to create another component for uh, verifying OTP. So let's let's do that later. But uh, first, let's uh, complete our sign up form. All right.
Mm. All right. Okay, so sign up form we have our input fields and everything. So let's let's move to the input field design like these input fields. Mm. 